Mechanics. Today we're going to be working more with the shoulder pin series. Quite a large series. Uh, big move is going to be the step over. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys the same series of the shoulder pin and nice position. Be really good for MMA. So with uh, so Todd here over under. Okay, my underhook. I'm blocking his elbow a little bit. Shucking him head in. A lot of times I like to bring his hand right to the seatbelt control, but this time because I'm going to attack his shoulder, hand stays up. So what I'm going to do from into here is hand crosses, and I like the three finger grip. You can game a grip, okay? Your preference, three finger grip, and I'm going to put that pressure onto, uh, onto his shoulders. Two things I'm going to look for. I'm going to break his posture. That's what this whole series is about, breaking his posture, breaking him down. So two things, first one being his arm comes to the mat. So I'm just going to like just sprawl back a little bit. Not full sprawl, kind of like a little half sprawl. So he's down, okay? So from into here, I'm going to start to circle a little bit. Circle away. What I'm looking is to bring his knee down. Now watch, this leg, I call it a quarter kickback. So there he goes. He stepped back now. Now all I'm going to do is going to get Todd to move back this way a little bit. Move back this way a little bit. So now that I'm in the same type of position here, and once that knee's down, I'm just going to step once over, boom, and I'm, you guys can see my arm, arms. I still got three gable grip, or I, mean, I still got my um, three finger grip, arms in there, that's four arms pushing on his head. This leg here crosses his arm, and this foot goes into the jockey pinch, okay, toes are out, and I'm pinching. I've kept this arm, that tension on that arm, and this gives me the ability to start to punch him. 